Hey, Chris, it's my Courtney here with another crochet video. Today, we're gonna to be making the cross and puff square. This is a fun square with texture that reminds me of springtime buds. And it kicks off the Melange Blanket Mystery Crochet Along, hosted by the Underground Crafter. There will be a link below so you can learn more about this crochet along. And for this square, we're just gonna need a small amount of worsted weight yarn. 33 yards to be exact, or split that in half if you're going to do two colors. But if you like to do one, this is how it may look. So get your six millimeter hook, get your yarn, and let's get to stitching. All right, so we have our yarn in two colors in order to get started on the cross and puff square. This color here, I will be using as A, which is opposite than how it's written in the pattern, but that's the fun of a granny square is that you can switch up the order of the colors for a different look. This color is called a Noah. Again, I'm using King Cole Fashion Erin, and this color is called Mull. So, and I have a pair of scissors and a six millimeter hook. So, I like to start with a magic circle. And I always get it backwards. <laughs> yes, I always do it backwards. I always need to remember to pull the tail to the outside. I don't make it huge. Again, you could do a chain to start your center. And I like to do one stitch to kind of pull it together to hold it in place. And we're gonna start like a traditional granny square. We're going to chain three. And then two double crochet, chain two, and this is for the corner. And now three double crochet. And work all the way around those loops to hold the magic circle in place because this is going to be helpful to kind of work around all the loops for when we tighten. Okay, now chain two. And we're going to just do that two more times for the center. Just like so. So before doing the last chain two, I actually like to tighten the center. So I pulled the tail to see which way that first loop is going. So it's going this way. So I will then use my fingers or sometimes I'll use my hook to work that up a little bit so I can now tighten this one. See, if we pull it out, it pulls the tail. So that's why you want to find the other way. So pulling this way, tighten, 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 and then grab the tail and yank. And now you have a perfectly tight center. And now we shall chain two and slip stitch to join. All right, so this is what I said, have your scissors handy. I like to cut a nice tail to weave in later. I'm gonna move that off to the side and just pull it through. Oops, <laughs> I just realized I forgot a stitch. Okay, so I forgot a stitch. <laughs> I was gonna frog it, but you know what? I just made a double crochet and slip stitch in order to join that all together. And now we have the first round complete. So now we're going to take our second color and again, leave a generous tail for weaving in the ends. And you can make a slip knot or 
Again, if you're experienced enough, you can join without making a slip knot. Again, a long enough tail to work in later. And so we're gonna start in the corner by attaching. So again, I like to just start without that knot. It removes some of the bulk. And so every corner is the same throughout the pattern except for the last round. So we're gonna chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and then double crochet, chain two, now double two double crochets. Okay. And now we're gonna do the horizontal puff stitch. And this stitch is made in a few steps, okay? So we're gonna start in the next stitch here by making a double crochet, all right? And now you're gonna work around the post of that double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, work around your stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, work around the stitch, pull up a loop. And you should have seven loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now you just pull through. And so when you do that, this is the top. This here, where the hook is inserted, is the top of the double crochet. And then the loop that was on the hook, the first loop, when you start wrapping to make the puff, that looks like a chain one. And now we shall double crochet. And so this also covers this space. So you're gonna skip this stitch. You're gonna crochet into the next double crochet. Just like so. Let's pull out a little bit more yarn. Now let's make the corner. That's two double crochets chain two, two double crochets, all in the chain two space. All right, and now we're just gonna do the same thing again. So let's make that horizontal puff stitch. You make a double crochet and work around the post of that double crochet by yarning over and pulling up a loop three times. So that's one, two, three. You should always check to make sure you have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all loops. Skip this double crochet, double crochet into the next stitch. And make your corner. So we're gonna repeat that until you work your way back around. All right, so we're gonna make our last horizontal puff stitch of this round. Remember that's three times you work around and pull up a loop. You yarn over, pull through all of the loops, double crochet into that last double crochet of the previous round, and then just slip stitch to join. All right, so now we have two rounds. And let's cut the yarn with a nice tail and just pull this through. All right, so back to color A. And again, I think it's easier to join to start in a corner. Again, start with your preferred method and I like to put that tail here to just kind of hold it in place. Keeps it from getting too unwieldy. All right, so that's one, two, and three. Again, helps to hold that in place and work over those ends if you want to just Again, hold them so we make the corner so that's the chain three that counts as a double crochet double crochet chain two two double crochets 
And now we're going to make a horizontal puff stitch and a crossed double crochet. So this is where you want to pay attention. And I'm gonna go slow to make sure that we get it just right. So we're gonna start in the first stitch, making a horizontal puff stitch, okay? So again, yarn over, pull up a loop three times. Two and three. Yarn over, pull through all loops. Again, we're gonna skip this one here and we're going to now make our cross double crochet. So a cross double crochet, you work over here, then work back here. But we're gonna skip the top part of the horizontal so we're actually gonna work into the top of this double crochet, okay? Like so. And now to cross, we're gonna work into this stitch, the top of the horizontal puff stitch that we made in the previous round. So you don't want to do that, but you want to bring your work forward so you can make a regular double crochet, okay? So again, it's crossed, right? One in front of the other. Again, the, huff, the horizontal puff stitch counts as two stitches, which is why we work into one and then skip the other. And now we're gonna make another horizontal puff stitch. So work into the next double crochet. Yarn over and then pull up a loop by working around the post of that stitch. Pull through all loops. And again, we're gonna skip this one because this is part of the horizontal puff stitch. And now make the corner. So that's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. All right, so let's do that again together and then I'm gonna let you finish the rest and I'll meet you back after we join and then start round four together. So again, that's a horizontal puff stitch. Okay, we skip this one because that's underneath the puff. We're gonna use this first stitch and this one. So we're gonna use the top of the double crochet of this horizontal puff stitch and the next one. So you always start with the one further away and then cross to then work in front of it. So we're gonna double crochet there and then coming back to this stitch Again, it helps to pull your work forward and up so you can get the hook in there and double crochet. That's your crossed double crochet. And now working here to make your next horizontal puff stitch. Again, if you purchase the ad-free PDF, there's a hand-drawn chart that really helps you know where to place those stitches. So again, the puff, horizontal puff stitch covers these two and make the corner. So, horizontal puff stitch, cross double crochet, horizontal puff stitch. Do that two more times, stopping before the corner because that's where we're going to join. All right, so we've made our last crossed double crochet. And again, make sure you're working into the top of that, the first double crochet of that corner to make the last puff stitch. And again, if it happens to be out of join, it may be spaced a little bit more, but it all comes together. 
and slip stitch to your chain three. All right, so we have three rounds completed now. So let's cut the yarn, pull that through, and now we're going to join color B. I'm gonna pull some of that out. All right, and we're gonna join in the corner. Again, you could pick any corner. I tend to work from the same corner. Oops. There we go. So you can tighten it like so if you like and not count that as a stitch and then still do your chain three, but it tends to loosen. So I counted as the first chain. So again, we're gonna start with corner. So that's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. All right, so corner made, moving the tails out of the way. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch. So that's here. And now we're going to cross double crochet, half horizontal puff stitch in the top of the chain one. So this here and not there. So we're gonna work here. And we're gonna do that two times and then double crochet. So we have our double crochet. We're gonna use this part of the huff, horizontal puff stitch to make our cross double crochet. So this one isn't stretched as much. So again, kind of insert your hook and then kind of come up in order to bring that forward to make your cross double crochet. Again, using the top of the horizontal puff stitch, that chain one space, that's where we start the next horizontal puff stitch. So that's We pull through, okay? So we're going to do that again. And so if you wanna make sure that you're putting it in the right spot, since this double crochet is going to be the last one before the corner, kind of work your way backwards, right? So if this is double crochet, these two are for the horizontal puff stitch, and then you're gonna use this for the cross double crochet because this covers this first double crochet of this cross stitch. Remember the horizontal puff stitch, <clears throat> excuse me, such a tongue twister. <laughs> this horizontal puff stitch covers two, so one, two. So this is why we're gonna use these two stitches for the next cross double crochet. And again, it helps to kind of push this forward. Oops, make sure you catch both of the loops. It is being fiddly today. There we go. To make your second double crochet, that way it's crossed. Working into the top of the horizontal puff stitch, the row below, make a horizontal puff stitch. Let's pull some more yarn out. All right, so remember this covers two stitches and then double crochet. Now make the corner. That's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And let's do that again. So we're going to do this the double crochet cross double crochet horizontal puff stitch cross double crochet horizontal puff stitch double crochet i'm going to repeat that three times but you're going to stop after that double last double crochet in order to join so let's do it together one more time and then you'll do the other two sides we'll do this side together you do these two sides together and i'll meet you at the join in order to do the next 
round in the last round at that. All right, so double crochet in the first stitch. Okay. Now cross double crochet using these two stitches here. Again, make sure you're working in front of the first double crochet when you cross. All right, horizontal puff stitch in the top of the horizontal puff stitch below, or the chain one of the horizontal puff stitch below. Okay, remember, skip this one. Use these two for the crossed double crochet. All right, horizontal puff stitch in the chain one space of the horizontal puff stitch of the row below. All right, this is part of the puff stitch and then double crochet. And that last one before the corner. Now make the corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So repeat that two more times and I will meet you at the beginning of round five. So, just wanted to pop in as we finish this uh, last part of the repeat. When doing the cross double crochet, you know what? I just realized I was telling you to do it much harder than it has to be. When you make the first one, it's so much easier to work behind it. My brain was all crossed. <laughs> I guess I should have finished my cup of tea. Um, why make it harder? So I know I said work in front of, but honestly you can work behind. You're still going to get that cross and it actually looks clearer. It looks more crossed, particularly in the darker color compared to the light color. But honestly, you can do whichever way works best for you as long as you're crossing those double crochet. All right. So again, rather than working, again, you can work in front, but it's much easier, at least to me, to work behind in that skip stitch in order to cross, like so. And we're going to make this last horizontal puff stitch. Again, you skip that one and then work into that double crochet that last one before the corner and if you need to kind of pull that to bring it come together and we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet which is the chain three and fasten off All right, so now we have four rounds completed, All right? And now we're gonna switch back to color A. And again, start in the corner. We're gonna chain two, which counts as a half double crochet. One, two, Half double crochet, oops, there we go. Half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. So that's the only, you know what? I did a double crochet. Doggone muscle memory, right? <laughs> All right, so let's try that again. half double crochet, chain two, 
as double crochet. And if you check the measurement of your square, say your tension is tighter than mine. See, I did double crochet again. There we go. You can replace a half doubles with a double if your square is on the smaller size in order to make it six by six. But definitely check your measurements after you've done the first four rounds. And half double crochet. I have to keep saying it to her by my hand, not to go wild on its own. And we're gonna half double crochet in the next 14 stitches. And so that means the top of each double crochet of the cross double, the double crochet, and the chain one of the horizontal puff stitch. These each count as one stitch, okay? Dang it, I just said half double and made a double, okay. <laughs> Hopefully your brain, your hand isn't working separately from your hand. Okay, so we're gonna half double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So now we're at the corner and just make two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets. So, repeat around the remaining size. So that's 14 half double crochet and then the corner, which is two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets. And then we will join and fasten off. All right, so I've finished the last half double crochet. Again, slip stitch to the first one to join. Cut your yarn and pull through. And now you can get a yarn needle in order to weave in all those ends. <laughs> I mean, any blanket with beautiful colors is definitely worth the effort. And again, if you know how to, you can kind of make this look seamless there so that that last round just blends. So again, looking at the different color combinations, you have it in a single color. You can have it in two colors. And this one is, um, goodness, I said this was a Noah. This is Pearl. <laughs> so this is a Noah. This is Pearl. This is Mull. And so you put those together. I mean, gosh, just look at that combination. Isn't that lovely? So that's all there is to making the cross and puff square. And again, the written instructions are free on my blog and also featured in the Melange Blanket Mystery Crochet Long hosted by Underground Crafter. Again, all those links will be below. I hope you have fun. Keep stitching. Like and subscribe. Make sure you don't miss out on any future videos, crocheting with me, unboxings, tutorials, fiber fashion styling, and more. I'll see y'all soon.